Hi, my name is Dr. Sarah Fetterman. I am a faculty member at the College of Public Affairs, uh, teaching negotiation and ethnic and cultural conflict. And I wanted to share with you why I think you should take conflict resolution uh, and negotiation this fall, and especially negotiation if you need a good place to start. As you can see, these smiling people in this photo are students who are in a previous cohort who all come to my house uh, at the end of the semester as if it's five years from now, uh, acting as if they are, all their dreams have come true and they've negotiated their way to success in every area of their lives. So I wanted to talk about why this being able to do these kinds of exercises online or in person, doesn't matter, uh, really need to happen in 2020 and beyond. Uh, right now, we, it's cross-listed in the business school and also the College of Public Affairs. So before I tell you again why negotiation, briefly who I am, I think you should always spy on your teachers. Um, otherwise, you know, why are you learning from them? So I spent a decade before I became a professor as an international advertising executive, which meant I ended up selling to these companies and many others in 12 countries and in three different languages. Uh, and I have a lot of negotiation experience in those environments. Then I went on to take the Harvard program uh, in negotiation and have negotiated for many other things um, since then. But I really turned away from business, well, not away from it, but towards um, conflict resolution negotiation, really from a powerful moment that occurred when I was living in Paris, which was I saw my own name on a Holocaust memorial wall. And for some reason, it just took my breath away. And I just thought, you know, I can't use these talents just for business, just for me. I really want to prevent this from happening anywhere in the world to anyone, right? So never again for anyone. And that's kind of slowly turned my life um, to where I am now. Now my mission is to bring together business savvy with peace building wisdom. And that's what I love doing in the classroom. I, you know, I work um, with foreign service officers, uh, I work with community organizations, and I love teaching at UB. Um, I also do peace dialogue. So I do negotiation with, um, teach negotiation and conflict resolution to leaders throughout um, the Sahel as well. So I love doing this, and why do you want to take this? So what the heck is negotiation and where do we do it? It's not just in boardrooms. I've done that version. But really, negotiation is about winning. It's about sales, yes, but it's also about communication, right? It's also about how do you give reassurance to somebody in a time when they're in crisis, right? You want your kid to go somewhere? Well, <laughs> you got to reassure them that the thing that they really want is going to happen someday. <coughs> And then we also, we're negotiating all the time. So whether or not you take a class in this, you're doing it. I mean, we're even doing it while texting, right? I mean, you're walking along and writing about when you're gonna meet someone or, or who's gonna pay for, who's gonna pay the rent this month, right? Probably the most negotiation we do with ourselves, right? Should I be watching TV? Am I gonna do my work today? My writing? Um, am I gonna go to the gym finally, right? There's a lot of that self-talk. Okay, but why study negotiation? If we do it all the time, we're probably great at it, right? So why would you take a class? Well, there's a real opportunity if you spend time learning the concepts and how negotiations work and think through and prepare for your own, there's tremendous opportunity. You're gonna have way more of what you want and you're gonna be doing it in a way where you build strong long-term relationships, right? This is not just grab it for yourself and run. You're gonna uplift everyone in your life. If you can be a person who can generate resources, time, um, money, and evoke leadership in others, then you're really gonna lift up a whole community. And then it's gonna help create others um, and be a leader for them. And you can also prevent a lot of conflict with negotiation, which is why it's terrific. So what's the cost of not studying it? Okay, so you could be great at all these things, maybe you could do it another way. So you might be settling for less than you deserve, right? This is one of the, the big costs of negotiation. Uh, you can live constrained by time or money. I mean, there are studies that so, show that if you don't just ask for that little bit more money in your salary negotiation, it can cost you a million dollars over your lifetime. And we'll talk about that. And you can also provide less to those you love. You know, one of the things I love about the University of Baltimore students is they're such givers, right? They, they want to contribute to everyone. They want to save the world. They want to care for their families. But you can't do that if you're not able to build a financial ship for yourself, right? A strong basis. You know, we live in a country in the United States where you really are responsible for your own health care and retirement. There's not the same safety net as there, as there is in some other countries. But if you can be a good negotiator, you can take care of that for yourself and others. Other costs. You can feel unexpressed and silenced, right? You don't know how to ask for what you want. We do a lot around asking, which is tons of fun. 
You also will have unmet emotional needs. Fine, you don't get what you want. You'll just bury it inside and say, I guess I can't have that. And then there's a limited ability to, uh, to develop your community. If you can't express yourself, if you can't ask, if you can't generate possibilities um, that, holds, that holds your whole community back. Um, and we, I, we want you to be great leaders because those who come to our program already are leaders. They're just practicing their skills. So, okay, so if negotiation is so important and it's so dangerous to not be good at it, where do people get stuck? What we want is just you don't have a place to practice it and really think it through. Life is coming so fast. You don't even realize you're negotiating until you're too far in. The other thing is that negotiation tactics and strategies are often handed down in families. And so if you're, we all come from different families. So it's really great to come together and see what skills we've all learned and inherited. Also, people are shut out of the conversation. You don't even know where the negotiation table is. I mean, you're like, negotiation? I'm never invited to a negotiation. <laughs> How do I get there? How do I ask for my salary to be increased? Um, and the other problem with negotiation that's so hard, you don't know if you're su how successful you are because you can't know what could have happened. I mean, your employer is not going to say to you, ha ha, you know, you asked for 60,000, but I could have given you 74, right? They're not going to tell you that. So you don't really know. People also get stuck is we don't like the discomfort of negotiation. It can be so awkward to ask at the face of no. We also, and this is a major problem, but we work on this in class a lot, is we don't know what we really want in the moment, in the month, in the year, five years, 10 years, right? And that makes it hard to ask for things. Then we just ask for the things that we think we're supposed to want. We haven't tried planning. They don't know how to plan. And you don't know how power operates. Uh, we haven't really talked or taken the time to think about how it's operating in the room. And then people just give up. Right? They, don't, they think that there isn't enough out there for them. So this is a crazy time and it's the time to bring your A game. I mean, there's so much up for grabs right now with all of these transitions and taking the time to study negotiation, it's gonna help you with balance in your life. It's gonna help you with your career direction, your family have better relationships and your neighbors even, your friends, health. And I have tons of stories um, from students of what's happened for them and I will share them with, with you and also you'll have your own. So we'll learn from the masters, right? The negotiation gurus, but we're gonna go beyond because the inner city has its own rules. And that's why it's gonna be a co-creation. You're gonna bring your stories, your struggles to the class. We're gonna bring knowledge to bear. We're gonna advise one another. And we're gonna help you make this the best year. This is the year when you're gonna launch, not the year that you just get through, right? And wait for things to go back to normal. So I really hope that you'll bring your real world examples to the classroom. I love learning with everyone. Um, I'm going to bring bringing in Baltimore experts. This is Takia Ross, a UB alum who has her own makeup business, who's just an incredible woman. She's funny. She's sassy. Uh, she's May 2020 uh, a win for her. She's and also um, Leonard Spain, who's also an alum who works with Safe Streets Baltimore, who works to interrupt cycles of violence on the street, talking about his own experience uh, with gangs that helps kids pick another life. Um, so we deal with people who know real negotiation on the ground, what it's like in Baltimore. And my goal is that by the end of the semester, you know what you want, and that when you negotiate, you have a sense of relaxed control, that you don't feel like that everything's all on one thing. So it's a lot of fun, it's a super interactive class. Um, even though it's online, you're gonna see how we bring people together um, and transform their lives. So I say, why not give it a try? What else are you gonna do in the fall of 2020? So please send me an email if you have questions about the class. Um, these are the different registration codes, and I hope to see you this semester, future semesters, uh, or in any of my classes. So I uh, hope to see you soon.